Hey guys, this is Gary Ward with Primitive Texas in Louisiana. You know, here on the Gulf Coast, we don't have any native rocks. If you need to process game, you're not gonna find flint, you're not gonna find any, any quartz, uh, so you're not gonna be able to process a lot of game, unless, of course, you can find one of these native woody type grass. What I have here is a type of river cane and a type called common reed. Both of them grow in, in sections like this, and they have an outer sheath on them that's got silicas in it, a lot like glass. And these can be uh, produce relatively good knife blades without using any other tools. And to do that, it's as simple as finding one. Now I've cut these off in the, for, for use on this show, but if I needed to, I could break them off on the ground just like this. You bend it, and it'll develop a crack in it that runs all the way down. Now, you have to pull these sections off at, the, at each joint. And the further down you are, the more woody they'll be. And I can do the same thing with this common reed, right? We're just gonna bend it. We're gonna get these, gonna make the splints and I'm gonna peel one off. Now, once I have these splints here, I need a sharp edge. And the way I do that is I begin making a split. I'm gonna go and just peel one for you because you'll see when I peel it, it naturally wants to peel all the way down in one piece, right? Whenever I wanna peel it specialized for a sharp edge, I need to get a, I'll use this one. We're gonna do the same thing, only now I'm gonna peel it starting it towards me and I want to cross over the plant uh, at, at this angle where I'm going over, but not in such a sharp that it snaps off and peel it. And what that does is it causes the peel more of the inside off, creating a sharp bevel with this exterior on it. Same thing with this common reed. I'm going to start a splint in it. That's how I'm going to use my teeth. It's a little easier to break it. I'm going to peel at an angle all the way across it. And what I end up with is this sharpened edge. And as you can see, guys, if I need to process a piece of meat, this stuff will cut right through it. We can butcher it with no problem. It's a little bit tougher to go through the hide with it, but it works great and you can process an animal in no time. Thanks guys.